Maybe you can talk about, at its worst, how bad was your emetophobia? There were times when I would think, you know, the next time if I do, if I'm about to throw up, I will just, I will find a way to die before that happens. There were times when I wouldn't leave the house. I wouldn't do things like touch the door handles in my own home. Like I would use my shirt to open them. Um, I'd wash my hands so much that they were just raw. And how are you now? Let's start with germs. How are you with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't phase me. I can touch everything in the house. I can touch everything out of the house. Um, not immediately sanitize my hands all the time. <laughs> and my hands aren't raw anymore. <laughs> Do you worry when you touch things? No, no. It, it doesn't even cross my mind now. It used to be at first when I would touch something or like open a door that I would, it would be all I could really think about until I went and cleaned off my hands. Um, but the more exposures I did, the more I kind of desensitized myself to it. Now I don't even think about it. And you were getting physical symptoms of nausea and stomach distress mm -hmm. every day. How are yeah. you doing with that? In terms of the anxiety induced nausea and physical symptoms. Oh, I'd say maybe once a month at the most. <laughs> With emetophobia, it does get a little hard because I don't like to go on planes. I don't like turbulence. I don't want someone to throw up around me. I don't want to throw up on a plane and not be able to get off the plane. I had a plan that I wasn't going to eat eight hours before any flight. Every time I got on a plane, I would be like shaking and kind of cold sweats, like just so anxious about the flight, like so tense. Um and I would come off the flight like almost exhausted from like how much my body had like went through. So then you had like eight flights in like a, I don't know, ten, two month yeah. period. Yeah. And by the eighth flight, how were you doing with your anxiety? I could get on a plane with no anxiety and I can get on planes eating, um, not even thinking about like the turbulence. I have had so many like flights and I realized that like even when the pilots tell me that it is going to be the worst flight ever, I can like still get on that flight and be like, I'm fine. I don't like that it's just playing. I didn't like the taste. I swallowed it though. So yesterday I ate meat again for the first time in a year and four months. Since I waited so long to eat meat again, my fear of eating the meat just continued to get worse and worse and worse. Today I'm gonna try and take two bites. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. My mouth's watering, I'm like, I don't know why this is more scary to me than the chicken that I got yesterday. Because I'm just gonna get it over with. So I'm gonna dip it. The chicken was so good. I'm gonna take another bite. So I'm hitting milestones today. It's like I've been eating chicken now for I think over a month in Turkey. So my best friend and I just made dinner and we just ate dinner and she had steak and I had chicken. Um, I had a meeting with Ken like an hour ago we got off and I told him that I would try the steak tonight. Um, I really don't want to, but my best friend is encouraging me to so. I'm gonna take a small bite. It's really good. <laughs> it's all good. I became completely housebound. I just stayed home. Even going to the grocery store or walk around the park was too much for me. I stopped eating. I think I lost like 20 pounds. I had the worst stomach aches all the time. I felt nauseous constantly, bloated. Never felt like eating, very picky with my eating. I would only eat bland foods. So now, and we've been working together for several months, and how are you doing now? Well, it's actually been a year since we've been together. It's our one-year year year? anniversary, Ken. Yeah, it was oh, right around my wow. birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've made so much progress. I've traveled the world. I can get on airplanes. I can do public transportation. I work in a That's hospital. right. You went to Iceland, right? You went to Iceland several yes. months ago? Yeah. Yes. 
I moved across the state by myself without knowing anybody. I have my own apartment. Um, I actually started drinking for the first time. I've never been into alcohol or going out to bars because of the fear of people getting sick. But I've had out several times since I've moved up here. And that's like huge for me. And what about your eating and the variety of foods that you eat? I stop being plant-based. I eat almost everything and anything. Um, I don't carry around like a mint tin thing that I used to that had ginger chews, gum, motion sickness medicine, Zofran. And how are you with your physical symptoms? About 75% better, I would say. I, even when I do feel nauseous from trying new foods with food allergies and sensitivities, like I just sit with it now. I don't pay any attention into it. At the hospital I work at, people are getting sick pretty often and I can be in the room when it's happening. I don't cover my ears. I don't run away. Like it's insane to even think about that. So you're actually in the room with patients as they're throwing up and you're okay i held the bag for somebody the other day because they were getting sick i held it right in front of their mouth and i was like you know what go ahead if you feel sick 